right, so there's some very vital things that uh, I forgot to do. Um, I've looked at this one in the Haynes manual. It says that there's a mark along here somewhere. Uh, to There's a mark right here on the uh, timing belt sprocket, but there is no mark on the oil pump housing, and that is most vital. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the cover back on, just put a couple bolts just because uh, it's got the timing marks on it, on that bottom one. And then I'm going to put the harmonic balancer back on. Oh, that's what happened to the rest of the ball. Then I'm going to put, and this is still really grimy, as you can tell there. That's really grimy still. But I can clean it again, it's not that big of a deal. Um, I'm going to put it in right here. Just kind of put a couple bolts back into it. And these ones are the shorties. So I'm just going to put these back in kind of temporarily. Because like I say, this, um, this crankshaft has, has the um, timing mark on it for the harmonic balancer and uh, right now I'm not too worried about uh, having interference on the engine because of the uh, line that up and I might have to pull it back off kind of wiggle it on and right now it's about 20 degrees below top dead center. Um, the mark on the pulley is the far left mark. I'm going to try and twist this by hand, which is pretty easy, and line that up perfectly. Because what I noticed on the cranks, or sorry, on the camshafts, um, one mark is lined up and the other one is about two teeth off. So now we've got that centered. I'm going to move this around to make sure that it's not that. So that's that's what I'm going to do. And that's... Try not to move the... Try not to move the crank at all. Um, it went on kind of nice, but it's not coming off as nice, so... I might put that puller back on just so that it'll um, so that it will line up perfectly here. I might have some special bolts here, and I need, a, need this little I need this little sleeve here for sure. That uh, we will. Um, So the middle. And I'm just gonna since I've cranked these in here before. Swing and a miss here. Yeah. You have to look at that one for sure. So that one's in. And this one I have to line up with my finger. Gotta find the hole first. And then put the bolt where it should be. turned in more than once into the
that one. And I do like taking this off again. I just want this in more than. Yeah, that's not even close. heads or half inch. To that one. And I just want that in. Making sure that these timing marks are not. See how easily I can turn that? I'm just lining this up to this arrow here. And then of course that one is this bigger one here. Yep, that's what it is. And I'm just gonna get it hand tight there. I could probably do this by. Yeah, see, it's coming off really easily. I can almost hand turn that. It's a little bit hard. But I'm just hand turning this, and it's coming off. And this again, this is the old harmonic balancer, which I'm replacing. So careful when you have extra stuff, there's that small parts that fall off other tools. I'll take this one off, and take this one off. If you don't have a parts washer to wash this thing off, you can use a high pressure washer. Um, I've got friends that have shops, so by the time I put that back on, it'll be clean again. So, and that's where I'm going to take this out for a minute here. This is, in theory, where the timing, see the timing marks right here? It should be inside this aluminum piece, but it is not. So that's where it should be. So I will come in and I will mark this with an ink pen or a Sharpie um, so that I don't lose that position. Because I plan on taking this off and taking this off. I'm going to inspect the crank seal. And because there were so many, because the tensioner fell apart, um, there's, I suspect that there's ball bearings behind that, and I don't want any, any ball bearings in there, because that's supposed to be a nice closed system, and you don't want any debris in there. Anyway, that's what I did to align that, and I've looked everywhere else, nobody has it, so that's how you do it. Alright, so I wanted to be sure that there were no ball bearings behind this sprocket and I have brought it out a little bit before but I wanted to show you how to do it um, I lubed it up uh, squirt the lube in here inside where the keyhole is and then because there's another key underneath this and then um, I got this out just far enough to spray behind it so if it wasn't so, if this one wasn't so movable, what you want to do is you want to take a screwdriver, and they say to be really careful in the manual exactly how to do this because you can pop holes in these aluminum. But usually it rides out about this far when, once you've taken the crankshaft pulley off. But I'm just turning the screwdriver like this, just kind of get it out here. And then I'll go in and I'll kind of use it as a pry. And of course, it probably looks like it. It's easier to take it, take this key off, which you want to be careful because you don't want to lose it, obviously. Uh, I'm not sure if the new one will come with one of those or not. So, get a pair of pliers here and we'll wiggle it. See if it'll come out. I know these are half moon and they're rounded. Uh, so I'm going to try and. I have not taken the 
this one off. So. Even with the lube that was on here, it looks like it's going to be hard to take off. So, I wanted to inspect the, the crankshaft. Um, the crankshaft um, seal. And it didn't look like there was any grease. Oh, there you go. See, I just did. I just kind of tapped it. You don't want to, like, pry it hard because you will probably break or bend this this um, belt guide but you can see where I've got the screwdriver and obviously take, um, I've got This one's on its last leg. <laughs> it's probably a Harbor Freight one, but I'm going to... And I'd rather break this than break this. And you can see... Give me a second here. You can see that there's a marking on that, and that's where the key guide is. Um, I am going to clean up the inside of this just so it slides back on easier. And that's the side that you want facing out. And then here's the belt guide, the inside belt guide, which it looks pretty good. Um, the manual has these with a really hard groove going out like this, but these ones barely have a taper on them at all. I've got one soaking, I've got the external one soaking. So, but. <laughs> You look in here. Try and look in here. Just looking for any any type of uh, like grooves or uh, just ultimately. Bad, a badly worn seal. This one did have grease caked all over it from the tensioner that was blown up. But this one actually looks pretty good. So I'm not actually going to replace it. I'm just going to... just going to leave it where it's at. But I do want to clean up the inside of this belt guide and then I'll scrub it clean with like a t an old toothbrush before I put everything back on. So we'll see how that goes. And I just do it with brake cleaner and a toothbrush. <laughs> 